This was once the starting point for a winter sports holiday, a seasonal luxury only for those who could take an extra vacation in January, February or March. Now snow sports have caught on as the new right round the calendar health holiday and you limber up for it in London if you like at a ski school where they'll prepare you for mountain exercise. There's snow almost all the year round, even close to the shores of the Mediterranean. And no sport has swept to popularity as fast as skiing. That's why there's class after class of hop, skip and jumpers getting their muscles ski-minded and finding their snow feet. And it's not only the teenagers that have taken to this new craze. You'll find that high fashion, too, has invaded the high ski slopes, with England setting the pace in a whole new rainbow range of ski pants and anoraks. And what woman wouldn't face the snow in a wild fox cape like that? Apres ski elegance has become an important consideration in a woman's holiday plans. But the central attraction is skiing itself. Travel agents have arranged package holidays in the snow, priced to beat currency freezes. So there are parties setting off in all directions, south to Switzerland, north to Scandinavia, west to wherever there are soft white slopes on Europe's varied mountain ranges, such as the giant mountains of Czechoslovakia. The first regular English parties have just started putting this particular fairyland on their holiday map. Cable cars and ski lifts add their mechanical magic to the mountain landscape. This is a world of fairy tales where the silence sets your imagination working, among trees that almost come to life. Czechoslovakia, you remember, is the land of good King Wenceslas, and here it's Christmas for most of the year. It's as easy going up as coming down, and even youngsters who've just started so recently at one of those ski schools tell you it's more exhilarating than a dance. You can start at any age on the nursery slopes. If you don't fall for this unfamiliar means of transport, you can go by bicycle. With this added advantage, there's no pedaling. No pedalling, but you're also apt to find there aren't any brakes either. It doesn't need skiers to animate this changing scene of mist and sunshine, mountain and valley, where even the ski lift cables are icy miracles. Everywhere you look, there's something unforgettable to see. Lonely beauty and skiing can be a solitary operation, but it isn't when such a thing as a snow carnival gets underway. There's one certainty about snow sports, you'll always find some people making clowns of themselves. Well, he hasn't covered himself with glory. It's enough to make a tree weep or shake with laughter. But where's he gone? Even a clown who collides with a tree must be buried in shame or something. But the trees themselves, snowed on, thawed and refrozen, look like clowns. Grotesque caricatures of animate creatures making their own nodding comments on the holiday makers who follow ski tracks where even the rivers have stones that wear high dunce hats of snow. We're on the road to the gay little Czech resort hard by the Polish border, Spindlerów Mlin. And all this is a bustling part of a typical Sunday scene in an iron-curtained country where, incidentally, a high proportion of the inhabitants have just got back from church. 
but you'll find you have no difficulty picking out an English visitor, fixing where she'll have that essential apres ski drink, because the snow sports are almost over for the day as the carnival crowds glide home to their hotels by torchlight. Now another scene is being set. Czechoslovakia in the evening. And inside, you can't forget you're still high in the giant mountains and a little dizzy with all the delight of it. Brandy for the English lady from the biggest balloon she's ever seen. But what's the Czech gentleman drinking? Beer, and a gallon of it by the look of things. It can't be done, but by good King Wenceslas, it is done. Yes, a whole gallon of the girling stuff has gone down the grate. That ranks as quite an accomplishment. Bravo, bravo! Today, those English girls are awaiting the arrival of other friends from England, another party of people they met at the ski school. And here they come. There'll certainly be a party tonight. There's just the first hint of snow, as it happens, as a murky evening approaches at Prague Airport. But it won't be long before the next batch of holidaymakers hit the clear mountain air. That cable car is the only transport there is to their hotel. This is the railway link with the real world. This is the stage-setting thrill that preludes a snow sport holiday, because from here on you have only your own feet and skis, except for the hotel horse sleigh to drag your baggage through a wonderland. The best fairy tales inevitably begin like this. Holiday hotels are dotted at easy intervals about these mountain tops, so it's no surprise to find a minstrel wandering between them, amongst those grotesque trees that seem to come alive in the hotel lights. Eerie, extraordinary and wonderful. Out of this world, you'd be tempted to say. But that minstrel's got more of a shock coming than those new arrivals from England. In the hotel, there's a pop group from Britain who've established themselves on a different note. The English have discovered a new playground. The British have adopted a new holiday sport, and the Czechs have laid on a Christmas-style party for them, though it's hard to believe King Wenceslas would recognize the tune. <laughs> <laughs> 